Artisanal fishery is a cultural activity. Aside the fact that it is an economic activity, it is also a cultural activity. And for us here, this is what we love to do. And this is what we do. Fishers depend solely on this activity to provide for their needs. It is in recent times that catch has declined. Well, for some time now, fishers go for expedition, cast nets, and you find plastics as part of what is harvested. The plastics are impacting our fishery and that has been a challenge for the fishers because income has fallen and standard of living is fast depreciating. You will have to comb, 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 comb without spotting fish and if you are not spotting fish, it becomes difficult for you to cast your net. You can't even cast your net because you have not spotted fish. <laughs> bringing knowledge and experience sharing into uh, helping them to rethink, change mindsets, even though it's very difficult to change behaviors of people. But I think the partnership they have as a community with the center is beginning to help them move in a direction that we all seek to, to achieve. From time to time, ESCO organizes sensitization program with us, and we are also able to share the information that we acquire with the other fishes. So ESCO is building our capacities and we are in turn making impacts in the lives of the fishes. We are proud to be the leading center of excellence in coastal Resilience, we work on topics in relation to climate change adaptation, coastal restoration. And out of this, we have also developed some innovative programs in relation to coastal marine environment, which has never been there. We have been able to develop new programs in blue economy, governance and social resilience, coastal engineering, which has never been around. And we are happy to see our students graduates with flying colors, some of them are finding good opportunities. And so already we're beginning to see the impact, which we are proud of. Definitely where I see myself in five years is working for a think tank that will be able to promote evidence-based policy making so that I can be able to utilize all this great knowledge that I've gotten from all this wonderful education that I've received into creating impact at policy level, at a regional or international level.